Friday. Friday. I, I was, I just about got it. Crazy. Welcome to Friday. Um, Chaz, Jeff, and Mal ran to the store uh, to get some breakfast uh, because we're getting ready to go to the thing. RioCon. It's a bed and breakfast, kind of. Bed and breakfast mm -hmm. plus plus. Tra traditional Japanese inn. That's a better explanation. We're going to be um, traveling up to Nagoya? No. Nope. Nope. Nagano. Nag Nagano. Darn it. These names give me a hard time. Um, it's a few hour train ride, but uh, it all starts with breakfast. What is that, Chess? It's Sakura Mochi. Oh, uh, cherry blossom. Mm -hmm. Mochi. Mochi. Oh, okay. There are multiple types of mochi. <laughs> you are used to the ice cream covered in the mochi. Oh. Why does it, it have a leaf on it? It's not great. That's what they do. Aesthetic. Oh, okay. Do you just know anything about aesthetic, <laughs> my friend? Aesthetic what are you for? Did you even go to art school? Did you ah. not even? Everyone's so cruel. Are you going to eat one? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's sweet, mm. but also salty. The leaf is like pickled. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The outside is real sweet. Oh, it's salty. That's the leaf. Oh. The leaf is pickled. Oh, that's why it's salty. Okay. Yeah, but the, the red inside is sweet. Yeah, everything else is sweet. It's really tasty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really good. So I made it to Tokyo Station, uh, specifically to the platform. Uh, the bullet trains are here. Uh, the Shinkansen? Shinkansen. Shinkansen. Uh, at this point, it's traditional to get a bento box that they sell, like, at like, the station. Like, station specific. Yeah. Like, each station kind of has their own, like, local. So, I guess we'll get a bento box and wait for the train, and then we'll eat the bento on the train. Because that's what you do. Here at timeline B, I guess. Um, today it's just gonna be Haley, Lindsay, and I. Um, Alex was supposed to join. He wasn't feeling well, so he decided to stay back. One of the big goals today is there is a watercolor artist that I follow on YouTube. He is a um, he's an elderly gentleman, uh, Shibasaki. And uh, he had an art show, and uh, coincidentally, while I was here, announced it on YouTube. Um, Alex and I went yesterday, and I bought one of his art books. And the woman at the art gallery explained that he's actually most likely going to be here today. So we decided to go back so that maybe I can get my book signed. I have a nice little, barely translated note, so that can get. Yeah, so we want to go straight up to Mainland. Yeah, we can probably just continue here. 
We found it. So we were trying to find Lush. We went to Lush in Harajuku, but it was only bath bombs, and there's some stuff we wanted to get, and I was selling one. However, we didn't know this, but it's actually in an underground mall. <laughs> yeah. So we managed to find, I got really, really close, but then we found a help desk, and, but I was very close. We would Yeah, we it. were like literally around the corner, but we found it. We were just yeah. around the corner from it, and yeah. yeah, if we had continued, we would have found it. We would have found it. So yeah. now our next plan is only a, but another walk, of course, because this is how we live here, is uh, the Namiki Gallery, which is where the um, watercolor artists I follow, who show his book. I guess we kind of mentioned it, but we were walking before, so maybe it's bad. Um, Shibasaki. He is a cool water, he's an elderly watercolor artist on YouTube. He does real cool work. A bunch of guides, I'd really recommend it. Um, so yeah, he's supposed he's supposed to be there. Most likely gonna be there today, so we'll see. So we go over there. But yeah, but the the one was explaining to me, so here's their family. This is the artist, this is of course a long time ago. But she was saying this is their son, and his son talked his dad into starting this YouTube page, which ended up working out for him. So let's go see if he's there, and I can give him a letter. Yay! And you can get your book signed. Maybe get my book signed. If that's and maybe get a photo. Maybe it's... get a photo. Thank we went to the art gallery. Uh, we didn't get we didn't get a picture. We didn't get any footage of me with him just because we were a little nervous about filming. Yeah. But afterwards, we got a little bit of footage. But here is the yeah. photograph of us. Yay! Isn't it cute? Don't you just love it? <laughs> um, so anyway, so the YouTube is it is Shibasaki, and so he does really cool little tutorials. Um, yeah. You and could he... link that in the sidebar. Yeah. Anyway. Um. He signed my book for me, so he's asking you know, how to spell my name. So, Aww. dear Haley, little heart, and Rod just signed his name, which is very cute. And then we were continuing yeah. to walk down the street, and we found a place with these cute little notebooks. Yeah. So we all got those. Just you know, yeah, fun get, little fun little souvenirs. Yeah, sure. Sweet <laughs> yeah, sh on them because I have taste. Yeah. Um, and then got they it gave for us, Alex. Yeah, I got it for Alex. And then they got us a little. They gave us a little present where we left a little hand on them. Yeah. Everybody here's so nice. Everybody's so nice. We had a good conversation. He was excited. Um, yeah, so from what I understand, yeah, his son talked him into starting the YouTube page, and they were just very delighted that there were people from America coming. Yeah. <laughs> Not that I had planned this. We just, I, it, when we were about to leave, he uploaded on, the on his YouTube that this was happening. So, yeah. a coincidence. Yay. Okay. So so now what are we doing? We're going, and then we're going to go home. We go want a, home. We yeah. want a nap. And yeah, yeah. Or, or a snack. Yeah, we should, yeah. We let's get a lunch. Yeah, we haven't eaten anything yet. I yeah. Yeah. Let's get a lunch at Tokyo Station because we're next to Tokyo Station, which is very big. It has many food things. And that's a straight line back home. Yeah. 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 Let's go eat and then yeah. go home. Yeah. See if Alex is feeling any better. And uh, day drink. Yeah. <gasps> that sounds Girl, great. What is this area? Sakudaira Station. Sakudaira. So we've made it to Sakudaira Station, which is some of the way there, but uh, at this point we have to take a bus. And the bus will get here in 50 minutes, and uh, if we miss it, that's real bad. So um, we have 50 minutes, but we also need 50 minutes to, like, to do something. So we're looking at the map, trying to figure out what we're going to do.
Airbnb. Um, and we're just hanging out, watching some great I Japanese children's entertainment, entertainment television. I'm ready for this, this show to be over because there's some been some way cooler shows. Like now we're into the real little kid crap, and I like it when it's the slightly older stuff. Yeah, um, Alex is currently um, at the like there one of the go. corner shops. Yeah, he he's had hitting up day so. Yeah, he, he's he's getting some stuff, but um, he's doing better, so that's great. Um, but we're just hanging out, chilling. Don't know what S Stephen and Mallory and um, Chaz and Jeff are doing, but probably not having as much fun as we are. No, they're not. As gathered by this next clip. Sorry, <laughs> I feel bad. This is our view, and uh, I'm gonna be honest, I only kind of like half understood what we were doing today. <laughs> like Mao is the one that talked to Chaz and took care of all this stuff, so like I knew that we were gonna go get in like a hot tub on a mountain, but that didn't really click that it was gonna be like up a mountain, and it's just wild. It's, it's um, a very traditional Japanese experience. They've given us these ropes that have a name. Yukata. Yukata. And you put in, you put on this yukata, and you're supposed to just have a, basically a life of luxury while you're here. And they give you these slippers, and my feet were way too big for their biggest slipper. So then they had to go into a special place and see if they could find bigger slippers. And now it's almost, you know, I'm still hanging off of the back, but, um, it's a lot closer. Uh, so um, I guess we're going to get changed. We're going to get changed. And then something. Um, the uh, there's the onsen is the actual hot tub thing. Is that? Onsen is just like the spring water. Oh. There's indoor, there's two indoor, and then there's outdoor. Yeah, that's what I was going to explain, is that there's, there's the indoor ones and there's the outdoor ones. The outdoor one is like the one you want to see, but there's only four spots. Yeah. So... We gotta try now and then maybe try again later. And yeah. See what we can get. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. And then later there's dinner. Wild, man. Wild. Um, I'm, I'm really curious, like, what Dan and company are up to. Because, like, this is not what I expected to do today. Every Everyone looks really cool. Is the cool the word I want? I don't know. I feel... I feel a little out of place, but I often feel out of place. We are out of place. You don't say. <laughs> I believe we're the only Westerners here. Okay, well, they had someone that spoke English, and that was nice. Yeah, that was mm -hmm. nice. I wasn't expecting that, to be honest. <laughs> well, it was a pleasant surprise. Bonus. Spin right. your belt to the side. What? Spin the knot to the side. Is that... Yeah. Which side? To the opening. Any side. Well, he did the How right... How you get a longer belt? Huh? Oh no, I'm you would only have doubled ones. I'm a bigger man. What? I'm a, you're right and she's left. Is it okay? Which one's right? Women do it on the opposite side, I think. Mm. I watched a show. Okay. Game. Can I just keep it in the middle? Sure. Okay, I'm going to do that because it's real confusing. You're a tall white man. Everyone will understand. <laughs> This is how you tell. Okay, so now it's going to go to the outside one. Mm -hmm. Is this the onsen, or is the whole thing the onsen? The whole thing is the, whole the, thing onsen. Is the onsen. Chaz and Jeff well, are here. The whole thing is the Ryokan. The whole thing is the... Well, then what's the onsen? This. It's also this. this. Okay. It's also so, this. Don't worry about it. Yeah. So, the view here is great. I'm surprised I got a camera out here. We were lucky enough where it's just the, the, three, the of three of us. So... But you can look. It's real windy! <laughs> 
But we're 2,000, as the sign behind Stephen's head points out, we're up 2,000 meters. Yeah. At the Takamine Onsen. And you can tell, if you look over, that's, uh, that's mountains. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of mountains. There's also a lot of spray. Yeah, well. There's some mist, so hopefully the camera will be okay. But um, they, they separate the men's and the women's, so Mao is in, I think by herself, yeah, just she's chilling, by herself. chilling over there. And I heard her laugh at one point, so she, <laughs> it was probably when I screamed because as I was undressing, a breeze came by, and it was real cold because there's snow everywhere. And uh, me and snow already don't get along, especially when there, there's a breeze and I'm nude. Um, <laughs> so this is unique. That was, uh, that was certainly an experience. Um, also, the path out here is uh, quite wet. Quite wet. <laughs> I got the camera oh, a little that, wet, that but it's alright. Wonderful. That was. Yeah, that was. Uh, I feel amazing. I can see why people would do this, basically. Yeah. It makes sense now. And that was just the first bath. <laughs> but it was it was important to get out here now because they it's gonna, this it's going to close. Five. Yeah. So and some of this path is a little icy. Yeah which is a little frightening, but I think we just about made it. Yeah, watch that point there especially. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> Jeff just pointed out that there's a, a, a little Roomba hiding in the hallway. It's cute. Each, each level has its own Roomba. <laughs> so I just got back to the room and I've, I've only been back for a few seconds and Mal walked in. Mal, how was it? Um, that was amazing. Amazing. I really enjoyed myself. Good. Did you? I mean, I'm you just so warm. <laughs> yeah, you look a little. The water was very warm. You look a little warm. Do I look warm or do I look okay? You've been out a bit longer. Uh, not long, but yeah. I had meant to get out, but then someone came in, and I didn't want to be awkward by immediately like bailing. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, that's fair. But uh, yeah, it was an experience. It was um. When, when me and Jeff were leaving, he had, he had mentioned that it really was truly relaxing in a way he couldn't yeah. quite express. Just to sit there and breathe, and it was so windy. Yeah, actually, that and was... I had it to myself until I was ready to get out, and I could just sit there and... Just... and look. Yeah. I, um... One of the things Chaz had mentioned is they really enjoyed the contrast between the extremely hot water and the very, very cool breeze. Oh, I didn't think the air was cold at all. I thought it was like perfect. Well, you're you're from Wisconsin. It's different. Anyway, so what what are we doing here? Did you, well, have you done a little room tour? I mean, there's a closet there. There's a closet. I believe it has another futon. In okay. It. And there's a little bathroom. There's a, yeah. There's a tiny tiny little toilet in the entrance way there. And we have a little closet that had our yukatas and towels and yeah. coats because there's coats. And we have a little table. Yeah. And there's snacks. <laughs> what kind of snacks are there? I don't know what they are. So I, I sit down here? Yeah. Uh, how do you do this? You can sit cross like it. Well, I don't... Uh, uh, you have to lift the table up, it won't slide. You have to lift it? That slides. Okay. Okay. Um, well, um, how do I, just, do I, what do I do? You can put your feet under if you want. Okay, I'm, my cross legged is too wide for this table because I'm a giant American. Do you want to sit over here where you have more room to back up? No, I'm fine. Just go, just go, just go. There we go. Knock, knock. Uh, is it open? Unlocked? I didn't lock it. It's open. I'm trying to figure out how to work the hot water here. <laughs> oh, I figured. You just need to. Uh... There's like six buttons, Jazz. Oh, I don't know what it's doing now. Oh, you've made it crazy. I don't know what I'm doing. All I did was press this. <laughs> and now now Mallory's making some. Mallory's making some rice. Yeah, it's. Mm. You guys want to come over to our room and have tea? Yeah, let me figure out how to stop this stuff. Well, I just sat down. Probably been a bad up in it for our tea. Yeah. Oh yeah. 
And that goes on the T the T holder. Dripper. Probably. That makes sense. I don't know what else that would be for. Move the T dripper closer as I will drip the T. It's a pile of tea. Mmm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Let me see the inside. Oh yeah. You know what they remind me of? They remind me of um, the uh, fireworks that you throw and they explode on the ground. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's red bean paste. It's good. I've never been a big fan. Yeah, weirdo. <laughs> So you're gonna try hot spring water. Do you just use your hand? No, you use the cup that's right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can use the cup like a civilized person. Smells like eggs. Mm-hmm. That's right. Well, I mean, sulfur, sulfur smells like rotten eggs. It's like rotten egg in liquid form. Tastes like eggs. I'm okay with this. I can hold my eggs. Thank you. <laughs> That's my wife. So at this point we're just walking around the onsen um, and seeing what else they have to offer because in addition to the outside um, bath and the inside bath there's also a bunch of other things around. There's a little little tiny gift shop, there's a blood blood pressure machine for, for some reason. Um, but uh, the, the whole thing is that the, the sulfur water is supposed to have uh, healing properties um, so you you bathe in it and also you can drink it um, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend that that part but the bathing in that part was was nice hey there a big boy <laughs> I'm a hammerhead Prime material. Um, so we got these gachapons uh, at dinner, actually, um, and they're great. They're for your drink, but they can um, also have sexy legs. Yeah. So we're into that. Many hours have passed uh, since the last clip, but um, we we uh, we all took a nap and then we all um, went to dinner. We all struggled this... to get out of bed. Yeah, we we did. Um, like we were There's the base. There we are. There we are. Yeah, so we, and, uh, we decided to take a nap because, like, I kept crashing at 8 o'clock. So I decided to take a nap. It was so hard to get up. Oh, my God. But we yeah. got up. Mm -hmm. And Lindsay was looking for a place to eat. And we found out there's a Kura near us, which Alex and I used to live near one in L.A. Uh, before in America, they called them Kula, but they retranslated the name to Kura. And Kura. So, Kura. And so, and so we got to go, and it was it was similar, except they had 
burgers at this location? Yeah, yeah it was burger. good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the, the design was like very, very different than the one in LA, but um, yeah, but we, you know, they had, their, their little machines worked, but they also had a cool wall of gotcha buns. So you got some Harry Potter stuff. Got some Harry Potter crests. <laughs> Yeah, these. Yeah, the, then we, yeah. yeah, we got these guys who we love a lot. Um, yeah, they're they're really great. They're they're, they're they're really they're really they're made to like hang on to your drink, but I'm just gonna make them have cute little sexy legs all the time. So we had a great night. Um, definitely. So I turn thirty tomorrow, Damn. and that was like the best pre-birthday Damn. dinner I could ask for. It was Aww. it was so much fun, and um, you got a birthday present. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, sexy shark for my sexy birthday. Sexy shark. Do 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 do. Sexy shark. Without further ado, I I think that's gonna do it for us tonight. Um, on timeline B. That's a good name. Awesome. So our first course is this little um, presentation, I guess. Uh, it's got mushrooms. This is. Like some tofu, maybe I don't know. Soap and tofu, maybe I don't know. It it, it, it moves like tofu. Sweet <laughs> potato. So, yeah, and this is probably uh, this feels like potato. So. Mm -hmm. And then the main course is uh, the salmon, which we're gonna cook shabu shabu style or hot pot style, and it goes in here. With the vegetables. We need to add the vegetables with it first. Yeah, these I think it says thirty percent, thirty percent alcohol something. Um, we've done shabu shabu before, you know, a few times, so I'm familiar with the concept, and everything looks delicious. So I'm I'm excited. And this they said this is first course, so presumably there's more things. I think the salmon is the main course. Oh, that's the main course. Okay, this is just the starter. Your poor mother could not handle this. I get uh, part two because I know you're having trouble with it. I mean, it's all edible. It's all tasty. This fish. Are these anokis? Do you know? Are they what? Anoki mushrooms? I have no idea. I don't want to splash hot broth all over us. That's no. a great idea to not do that. <laughs> I'm, I'm, like that? I'm a big fan of not splashing hot broth. You can go in there. That's fine. Yeah, just, yeah. So it's tempura, but it's like a beautiful example of it. Because yeah. what the the platonic ideal of it is that thin, uh, very light batter, and it looks just beautiful. I can't wait to eat it. If someone's uncomfortable with something, I'll eat it. <laughs> I have no shame about food. So. Jess, who is that? Good. Is that eight? I, it's a lot. I'm putting a lot in. Okay. So we did the we did the shabu shabu and it came out beautifully. Yeah. There's more. Uh, they just brought out some rice and some miso, and there's a lot in this miso. Sometimes you don't really have a whole lot, but there's um, like mushrooms in there and cabbage. There's a lot going on, and it keeps coming and it doesn't stop coming. And there's more food, and I'm sure there's a dessert course too, probably. Aww, he's so cute! He's so cute! My big bushy tail. He's so cute! It's an orange! It's an orange. I'm surprised anyone has enough room to even start this. It's an orange. You say that like you could eat infinite oranges. You can't eat infinite oranges, Jess. <laughs> it's half an orange. It's half an orange. It's mostly water. It's a very good orange. Yeah, it's very tasty. All right. That orange was very good. It was very good. I, th I think Jeff was the one that said that when, when you're presented with fruit in Japan, you should always eat it. And it's true. Everything that we've had has been really good. Even on the flight, whenever they had, they gave us like all the melons. Mm -hmm. it was the melons extremely were good. delicious. So, some random person comes up to you on the street and says, "Here's the fruit." <laughs> Maybe you want to think about that one. Right? Unless you're in Japan, in which case you should probably accept it. This everything was amazing. Mm -hmm. Like, there's so many good things to say about all of this, and it would take forever to say it all. 
yeah, it just it, it kept coming. Yeah, like, this was not at all what I was expecting. But. No, there was. I'm 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 actually almost glad there's no more food because I don't think I would have any more room to eat it. <laughs> it's too much. It was. It is. It's right on the edge of too much. Yeah, we um, ordered a bottle of uh, local sake, which is like really really good, but there was a lot of it remaining. You drink it in these small glasses. And we didn't drink a lot, so we have a lot remaining. And so I, we uh, came back to our rooms. I was wielding the bottle of sake with a glass in my hand. I'm sure it was it was a sight. <laughs> <laughs> We're very full. I I have had a good time, and there's more. There's oh, star was, there's was, stargazing. This was, also, this was an That's evening for the ages. Oh yeah, we got like an hour before memorable. stargazing. Yeah. Yeah. There's more baths. Oh yeah, there's more there's, sake. there can be more. <laughs> So one of the cool things about staying at the Ryokan is that in addition to uh, the onsen, the, the bath, um, and the meal, there's also like activities that are going on. Um, there, there's quite a few talks where they like explain different things, but we can't really go to any of those because they're, they're in Japanese, uh, so they wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. Um, but one of the things that was uh, going to happen tonight was stargazing. Um, they actually have a telescope um, that, you know, like a legit stargazing telescope uh, that you, you know, you go outside and you get to experience all that, but it's cloudy and they had to cancel the event, which is unfortunate, but it's fine. It's fine. This, this experience just in and of itself has been incredible. So that, that that's all right. Um, Chaz and Jeff decided to go to uh, the, the, the bath again. Um, there's the outdoor one, which is only open until five, but then there's also two indoor ones that are 24 hours. Um, so they decided to go relax. Me and Mao are chilling here back in the room, and they, uh, they actually have a, um, it's a notebook. It's like a little, uh, what do you call those, Mao? A guest like book. A guest book. A guest book is the word. So, uh. Mao is writing in the guest book, you know, kind of our experiences, and you can read through the guest book, and it just goes back, you know, quite quite a while of other people that have had, you know, stays here. Uh, so she's going to write it in Japanese, and then under it, write it in English as well. So I think that's a nice little touch. Anyway, what a day! <laughs> what a day! Like I didn't even really understand what we were doing. Um, the, the magnitude of everything, because I was not really involved with a lot of trip planning stuff. Um, Chaz and Mal did a lot of that, and because of it, even when they had, you know, like, websites of, like, this is what we're going to do, you know, this is what we're planning, um, I didn't even look at it, because it was like, oh, yeah, when we get there, I'll enjoy it. So because of that, so much of this was a surprise, and um, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun and, and very, very relaxing. So uh, I, I definitely enjoyed my time. And uh, I know someone's going to ask, uh, but I, I, was, I did eat all of the food, but I could not, <laughs> could not eat the fish. I could not eat the whole fish. I've talked about it on the vlog before about me and um, the whole food like that, uh, like fish or, or anything that's um, looking back at me. I, tr I, I tried. I tried very hard. I ate everything else, but um, that was uh, <laughs> that was the one thing I couldn't do. But that's okay, because uh, you know, Chaz, Chaz and Jeff got to eat a little extra because of that. <laughs> anyway, um, that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, when Chaz and Jeff get back from the bath, we'll probably sit and chat for a little bit, but otherwise um, I'm going to get to bed. And uh, in the morning, uh, we've got breakfast here, mm -hmm. which is exciting. Probably going to be a really spectacular breakfast. And then we will head back to uh, Tokyo and reunite with the rest of our group. But man, this, uh, this whole experience was very unique and one that I will absolutely remember for a lifetime. Thanks for watching, and as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?